and welcome back to a new video. Today's video is about Patrick Kane and his potential trade options to this trade deadline. Like always, don't forget to leave a like and smash that subscribe button for more hockey content just like this. We're posting daily and we're on that ground, so please like and please subscribe. Now, so far this season, Patrick Kane has 35 points through 49 games so far this season with the Chicago Blackhawks. He is an amazing player who looks for open ice and he makes swift passes. He has played many games for the Chicago Blackhawks and it'll be very sad to see him and potentially Jonathan Taves leave the organization this year. But it's something they have to do and it's something they've already decided on basically with Patrick Kane wanting to move on to a contending team saying he wanted to go to New York but then they got Vlad Tarasenko and that's what a reaction he had. A video will be coming later on that about his reaction to the Vladimir Tarasenko trade. Now, Patrick Kane, he's an older player, but he still has unique skill set that many players do not have. He's an elite puck player. He strings the puck perfectly and one of the best hands in the league, one of the best passes in the league, and one of the best power play players in the league. He sauces the puck over, he makes great passes, he makes smart plays, and offensively, he is amazing. I could see him fetching maybe even two first-round picks and a good prospect for Patrick Kane, as he's still under contract, and he's a player who already has won a Stanley Cup, who knows how to win a Stanley Cup, has played 136 games in the playoffs, he's a playoff player, he knows how to play the game, and he's a player that many people want in their top six, and in their top line going into the playoffs. Now for potential teams I could see them going to, the first one is the Edmonton Oilers. The Edmonton Oilers are extremely cap strapped right now, but for 50% retained and Edmonton setting Jesse Pugliarvi back, cap space can work. And for a trade that I could see happening for Chicago, I could see a 2023 first round pick, a 2024 second round pick, a prospect, Maybe like a Dylan Holloway, or maybe even like a Xavier Bourgeois, a prospect kind of like that, who's basically NHL ready and ready to join the Blackhawks next year. And of course, yes, he pulled the RV, so the cast face works. And the Chicago, Chicago Blackhawks could use a bit of a player like Jesse Pugliarvi who was kind of in the same boat as Kirby Doc, not as skilled but didn't get the chances and Chicago could really make their amends trading Kirby Doc away so getting Jesse Pugliarvi back and trying to develop him properly. In the next team we have that could potentially get Patrick Kane we have the Toronto Maple Leafs. Now the Toronto Maple Leafs alongside the Edmonton Oilers are extremely cap strapped but with 50% retained and Justin Hall and maybe Alexander Kerfoot heading back to Chicago, we could they could make this work. For a trade, I have to see Matthew Nice and Toppy Namia heading back to Pat Chicago for Patrick Kane as two of those prospects best in the Leafs pool and the Leafs do not have a lot of prospects. I could see a, a second round pick, Toppy Niamila and Matthew Nice and Justin Hall going to Chicago because of the 50% retained that Chicago has to have. So that's a trade I could see happening. But again, Leafs fans, I uh, don't know. Is Patrick Kane really the option for you? Is he? Will he solve your problems defensively? Well, we'll wait and find out. We'll wait to see. But in my personal opinion, I don't think so. I really think they should go for a more defensive forward type mold. But that's really it. And for the last team we have for Patrick Kane, we have the... Los Angeles Kings and the Los Angeles Kings are really p teams that have cap space looking to add a dynamic forward to the group already traded for Kevin Fiala trying to look to add to their forward core trying to have trying to go deep into this playoff run they've been rumored a lot they've been trying to make trades they've been trying to get better and a Patrick Kane trade is how you get better and for a Patrick Kane trade I don't see how you cannot add either Brant Clark or Quinton Byfield in this trade. I think you have to add either one of them. So I would say a trade package for them was like Quinton Byfield and a 2023 second round pick. I think that's a decent price, but I do not think Los Angeles goes for this trade. I do think the price would have to reduce to maybe like an Alex Turcotte and a first, 
but the Kings seem to like Quinton Byfield and they seem to not trade him. And that's it for today's video. If like always, if you like this video, please leave a like and smash that subscribe button for more hockey content just like this. We're posting daily, so please like and please subscribe. See you guys soon.